Hey, what's up, guys? Today we're going to be doing a Nightwing tutorial. Now, this is going to be part one, so we're going to be covering Eskrima only. Uh, the next part will be covering staff, and there'll be some additional parts after that, just covering uh, different things with the characters. So keep that in mind. Uh, if you guys are looking for a specific Nightwing tech, check out my channel. My channel is filled with Nightwing tech, and I'm going to be uploading more soon. So you guys feel free to check that out. Um, the next one I'm going to be uploading is throw baits. I have a bunch of setups to bait and blow up people trying to throw you. So if people like to tech a lot against you, this is... Uh, something that you can look out for, but uh, yeah, let's talk about Eskrima today. So uh, this is just going to be a basic breakdown of all of his normals and strings and special moves and stuff like that and uh, some basic neutral stuff for Nightwing. So one of the things you have to know about uh, Eskrima and, you know, Nightwing in general is that it is the more uh, mobile version of Staff. So Staff doesn't have the uh, mobile options that Eskrima has, like the back dash, forward dash, and jump. For Eskrim, for Eskrim are normal for most characters in the game. However, the back dash, forward dash, and jump for staff are heavily stunted in comparison. So Eskrima is the more mobile but less uh, dominant up close version of you know Nightwing's playstyle. Like uh, up close, staff is very strong. It has a lot of good things, but Eskrima uh, up close, point blank, is not quite as good. Uh, part of that, you know, comes from the normals that he has to choose from up close. But we'll get to those in a second. So uh, just keep that in mind that using both stances is absolutely key to winning with Nightwing. You have to be able to transition from stance to stance very often because that is his trait. That is what his character power is and you have to be able to use that. But, um, you know, for now we're just going to focus on one stance, which is Eskrima. So let's talk about his normals. Uh, the first thing to talk about is his stand one. Uh, his stand one is six frames like most characters in the game. So stand one is going to be what you're going to use to... Uh, you know, punish most situations. Like, most characters, you know, when they punish stuff, they do, like, down one into cancel. Uh, but the problem with Nightwing doing that is his down one is nine frames. It's very slow. So if he's going to be punishing things, he's going to be using his stand fastest normal, which is stand one. Now, the strings out of stand one are also very good. He has stand one, one, three, which is your main punishing tool. You do stand one, one, three into Eskrima Fury. It's your main go-to punish. It's a six-frame startup. Um, uh, the other thing you're going to be using is one, one, two. One, one, two in... in um, is plus 21 on block. So your goal for 112 is in a situation where you know you can't punish, your opponent's like minus four or something like that, right? You can't punish, but you do 112 because it locks them down. Now after 112, he has this 3-3 series that I'll get into when I cover his stand three, but uh, it's a very good situation for Nightwing. So making your opponent block 112 is very, very good for you. And uh, it's one of his better strings. So that is his stand one. It's a high and uh, you have to keep that in mind, especially when you're doing 112 that your opponent can block or can duck the first part of it and uh, swing out. So keep that in mind. But stand one is very good because it is the faster and, you know, his go-to punish tool. So one, one, three, that string is your punish string. Now, the other normal, uh, you know, that you want to cover with one is back one. His back one uh, is sort of slow on startup. I think it's like 11 frames and it has a couple of strings attached to it. Uh, back one, one, two is, you know, an okay string. Uh, you can hit confirm back one, one into Astrum of Fury. And uh, the thing about back one, one, two is you're probably not going to use it that often. The most use you get out of back one, one, two is when you try to do stand one and you're holding back. I'm not kidding. That's pretty much the main use of it. You can also do back one, three, this string right here. It's a low string. And uh, since your opponent will see it and try to block low, you can do back one into flip kick to cross up. But, you know, that's sort of gimmicky. It's not something you'll be going for uh, often. It's just, you know, something that's, it's an option. Um... The other thing that you're going to be using all the time with Nightwing is his stand two, his back two, and his forward two. Now, his stand two, the main use for this is uh, a tick. It's it's pretty much a tick throw, right? Because the string out of it, two, two, three, is not very good. But the thing that you will notice is good is stand two flip kick because it'll cross up, right? So you can tick uh, into it. So if your opponent's knocked down your point blank on their wake up, you can do stand two to meter burn flip kick to cross them up. And uh, that's how you can set it up. So that's one thing you have to consider, right? Stand 2 and a flip kick is a very, very strong tool. Stand 2 is your main tick. So if you guys play, uh, you know, something like Street Fighter or something, you'll know that to throw setup, you do like something like jab, jab, throw or short jab, throw, something like that. Um, and this is a very similar situation. Instead of doing like jab, throw, you're doing uh, stand 2 into flip kick to cross up. So that is what his Eskrima is. His Eskrima doesn't have very much high-low mix-up, but it has a very significant amount of left-right mix-up, and that's how you set that up, because Flip Kick does cross up in a lot of situations. His back two is his best normal in Eskrima. It's your go-to normal for a lot of situations. The reason back two is so good is it has a ton of range, it's an overhead, and uh, you get a lot out of it. So, for instance, if it hits, you can confirm it with your stand three into a combo, into a setup, you know, something like this right here. 
right? That's the setup right there, where they have to eat the ground spark. If you want more info about that setup, check my uh, YouTube. I have a video of that. You can check it out. It's called the Back Two Series. Um, that's your main two. That's your main tool, right? But if your opponent is blocking your back two, which is gonna happen because Nightwing doesn't have many lows, so he's gonna be blocking high, right? If your opponent's blocking your back two, you're gonna be negative, right? So you can't swing after. One of the things you can do is back two into flip kick, right? On block, that will cross up. Okay, so back two flip kick is a very good situation for you. It's gonna cross up on block. However, from some ranges, back two flip kick won't cross up. So you can space it at a distance where it will or will not. You'll be able to tell after you've done your flip kick. So obviously you do your meter run flip kick, and if it hits, you get a full combo. Okay, so that is one of the best parts about back two. It is your best normal. You have to understand how to use it. You have to be able to hit confirm off of it with stand three uh, or another back two if that's your thing. But I like to do stand three because back two, back two is a harder link as well as the fact that uh, it only gets you one more percent in your combo. So back two, back two is not something I would go for. Stand three is the more consistent one for me. Uh, you don't want to do just back two into Eskimo Fury because you can't hit confirm it and on block it is terribly negative. So keep that in mind. Forward two is his other normal off of uh, his two, or, you know, medium punch. And that's going to be uh, 10 frame startup. It's one of his main strings. One of the things about Nightwing is that his since his down one is plus. If you do down one, forward two, one, three, there's going to be a seven frame gap. Forward two, one, three is also your key combo starter into things like Eskimo Fury, uh, into any of your staff starters, or pretty much anything you do. Whether you do a flip kick to cross somebody up, or, you know, it stayed the same side because my opponent got hit, but... Uh, on block, 4 2 one, 3 flip kick will cross up uh, in most situations. So that's just 4 2 one, 3 is your main go-to string. It is your primary string in like 90% of situations. So that is your go-to string in this dance. 1-1-3 one, one, is your punish. Forward 2 one, 3 is your basic pressure string. Keep that in mind, all right? That's, that's key, all right? And back 2 is your best normal. So those are the things we've covered so far. Uh, another thing about his stand normals is he has these up 3 and, uh, whoops, up down 3. Now, up three is super plus on block, but the only time you'll find yourself using up three is a situation where your opponent is in the corner. And so, you know, you get some sort of combo, and you can use up three at the end to set up a situation where you cross them up. And you can go for a setup like that or something like that, right? Up three is a situation where it's going to cross you up like that, and then it'll put you into weird situations. So, up three is more of a setup tool. On block, it is super plus, it's about plus 10. But the problem with up three and up three down three is that you're going to want to use it for setups instead of anything else. So, like I mentioned, in the corner, up three at the end or something like that. You can also do it after, you know, basic combos. Uh, whenever you end in Eskrima Fury, pretty much up three. And you can go for this really crazy mix-up series that I posted. So, uh, check that out on my channel as well. And uh, it's a very nice setup. So, that is up three and up three down three. Uh, it's pretty much a setup tool, and that's about it. The normal is too slow to use consistently in any other situation. There are some mid-screen setups for it, but uh, it's pretty, not really as prevalent as his his other tools. So his other normals, uh, as far as crouching normals, is um, down one, down two, down three. Now down three is good because it's a low. He doesn't have many lows in his stances, as you figured out. Back one, three, and his sweep, as well as his ground spark, are pretty much all you have. Uh, sweep is okay in certain situations, but I don't like a raw knockdown like that. I'd rather have a left-right mix-up with meter and flip kick than, uh, you know, a knockdown in, like, what is it, like 7% or something like that. It's usually not worth it. Uh, down two is his anti-air in this, if you can call a move that doesn't actually anti-air and anti-air. It's good in certain situations, I'd say. In certain matchups, down two is a solid anti-air. However, in most matchups, you'll probably struggle to do it unless you do it very preemptively and you're, you're just absolutely amazingly timing. A lot of times it'll trade, which is fine. You can still combo off of it. Down twos in this game on, like, on trade will still be at an advantage for you. So, yeah, down two is just an okay normal. That's, that's how I would describe it. It anti-airs some things, but most things it won't. Down one is a good normal. Uh, it's a good normal, but it's a slow normal. That's how most Nightwing normals you'll find are. Uh, down one is nine frames, but it's plus three on block, which means down to one into uh, four, two, one, three, like I mentioned, is a seven frame gap. So characters with slower down ones will get punished for it, or people who try to swing with anything slower than that are going to get punished for it. Down one, two, the string attached to down one is plus eight on block. Uh, and you can do down one, two into like three, three setups and stuff like that, which I'm saving for the end. Uh, but that's just one of your, you know, your options. So keep that in mind. Uh, off of down one two you can also do down one two forward two one three stuff like that on blocks so keep that in mind now three three the thing about a stand three night wings is that you'll never do stand three outside of two situations you do back two, confirm in the stand three and ask from a fury for your combo and a setup 
or you do 1 1 2 on block into stand 3. Now, I'm going to show you guys the 3 3 setup real quick. Uh, there's a video that I have that's sort of related to this, but I'll just cover it really fast. So, 1 1 2 is plus 21 on block. Now, the thing after 1 1 2 is you get a free 3 3. Now, after 3 3, 3 3 3 is his whole string, but after 3 3, uh, your setup is. Is whatever you want right so 3-3 three, three, ground spark is a low you can't interrupt it your opponent has to deal it with it 3-3 three, three, staff cancel into meter burn pound is another option 3-3 three, three, stance cancel into meter burn staff spin will put you at more plus frames 3-3 uh, three, three into flip kick will cross up 3-3 three, three, spark cancel dash forward you can throw after you can do another 1-1-2 one, one, to put them in the same mix up again uh, you know you can even dash cancel forward cross up flip kick you can dash cancel forward back to cross up flip kick. You can do whatever you want to do. Right? So it's a great series of normals. So that is your stand three. And you're going to be using three three off of one one two. That's your main time. Or down one two into three three is actually a pretty decent option as well. Okay? So we don't want to go too deep into that because a lot of it's going to revolve around staff. But that is your three three mix ups. Okay? So those are most of your notable normals on the ground. In the air, his, mix his normals are okay. He has jump one. Jump one's not really that great of a normal. The thing about jump one that's actually nice, besides its speed, is uh, you can actually instant overhead with it. But uh, jump three can also, whoops, jump three can also be instant overhead. You can use that as an instant overhead on people's wake ups, um, and you can also cancel it into wingdings as well. So jump three or jump one is not something you go for a lot. Jump three is actually a really good air to air move, especially since into wingdings it gives you a lot of damage, 21%. And uh, it's, it's, you know, it's an okay jump in. It's not terrible. Jump two is your other jump in. Jump two is your go to when you're going to do stuff like jump two into meter room flip kick. Uh, after something like a staff spin, you can ca cancel back an Eskrima and then do jump two meter room flip kick. So that is your main, one of your main setup tools for jump two. Jump two by itself has a pretty bad hitbox. Uh, you'll notice that you have to do it super late, otherwise, it won't hit. And uh, it just doesn't have a great hitbox in general. It's not something like Batman's Jump 2 where you can just jump around with it and get away with it. Uh, jump 3 is what you're going to be using for that. But uh, you probably won't be jumping much with Nightwing in general because his ground game is very solid. He's a very ground-based character. Uh, let's get into his special moves real quick. And uh, we'll talk about some gameplay stuff to wrap this up. So, he has Scatter Bombs. This is a move you probably won't be using often. It is a, an option in your 3-3 setup. But the problem with Scatter Bombs is that it's very slow. It does leave you at plus frames, but it's not going to anti-air anybody, and uh, you can meter burn it into a combo, but I don't know. It's just not that great of a special move for you. You probably won't find yourself using it very often. The most you'll get out of uh, scatter bombs is when you try to do wing dings and you mess up your instant air, so you get scatter bombs instead. That is pretty much the primary use of it. Uh, wing dings is his primary projectile in the air. The nice part about wing dings, as you see there, it throws out those three little daggers, is on block or hit, you can hit confirm it with the meter burn. The meter burn version of it can be delayed for a very long time, as you see there. So, on block, wing dings are very punishable. However, when you have meter, you can do that delayed meter burn and it'll blow up whatever punch they try. If you're also at a point under someone where wing dings aren't hitting them, uh, well, if he's crouching right there or something like that, right? If you're throwing wing dings uh, and he's not getting hit, you can meter burn it to float in the air long enough for you not to get punished, right? So if your opponent's trying to down to you or something, that's what you can do. It won't work against certain down twos like Grundy's where he can slap you out of the sky no matter how high you are, but keep that in mind, it's a decent option. So uh, those are your wing dings. Your other special moves are going to be Flip Kick. I talked significantly about it's going to be your main cross-up tool. It gives you your left-right mix-up in Eskimo, which is Nightwing's go-to mix-up. Uh, he doesn't really have as much high-low as many other characters that are his size or you know type of character do. Um, outside of staff, of course, because staff gives him a different set of special moves, but we'll go over that in the next video. So, um, he has flip kick, like I talked about. Meter burn flip kick will give you a full combo. You can back three and do whatever you want after right. The nice thing about meter burn flip kick is that it works off of cross ups and jump ins and stuff like that, too. So, it's a really good tool. Uh, Eskrima Fury, you guys saw me do a little bit earlier. It's your main combo starter, you know, forward two, one, three, one, one, three, and into it, back two. You can confirm off stand three into it. It's your go-to combo tool, and uh, it's good for setups as well. Uh, the other thing that you can use is Ground Spark. That's his other special move. Now, the thing about Ground Spark that's really nice is you can hold it, okay? You can back dash out of it and forward dash. You can use the back dash and vulnerability frames to dash out of other projectiles or interactables and use the back dash and vulnerability to get through them. You can duck projectiles. When he's ducking right there and sending the shock out, 
like you guys are seeing, he is actually invulnerable to high projectiles, and certain mid projectiles for some reason will pass through him anyway, but uh, you know, high projectiles will go past him when he's doing that, so you know, against a character like Green Lantern, it allows you to zone him pretty well, because his stand rocket will fly past you when you're shooting ground sparks. Uh, the other thing about it is you can use it to set up mix-ups. So, uh, you know, in, in situations in neutral, you can do this and dash forward to an overhead because ground spark is a low, right? So instead of doing letting the ground spark go, you can uh, you can dash cancel it into a back two for an overhead. It's also nice um, because off of, like, a mix-up series like this, you can get a meaty ground spark. Uh, this is the back two series I covered in the video. You guys should check it out. But you can also dash cancel it. You use stuff like that to cross up with meter burn flip kick as well so it's just another option you can do um and those are pretty much his primary uh special moves or his all of his special moves in eskrima nothing in staff but uh, i just wanted to break that down for you and that is you know nightwing's primary game the fact that his ground game is very strong his his air to air game and his and his anti-air game is kind of weak and his normals are not that fast however when you get going uh his his pressure is kind of hard to deal with and Eskrima is very good. Most people will tell you when they first learn Nightwing that staff feels way more intuitive and it's something easier to pick up. But as you put more time in, uh, it's very clear how strong Eskrima is. It just takes a lot of work and it doesn't dominate nearly as easily as something like staff. So it takes practice. You guys have to uh, consider it as well. <clears throat> so that's the thing about it. Just the main part about Eskrima is staying very having strong spacing using your ground spark cancels playing footsies with back two and uh making sure that you don't get locked down too hard like i mentioned his anti-air game is terrible so one of the main things about this is dashing under jump ins and using back two so uh just keep that in mind and eskrima has a million different kind of setups if you want to see some check out my channel uh subscribe from future nightwing tech and the rest of this tutorial i hope you guys have enjoyed this if you guys have any nightwing questions let me know and uh, i'll see you guys again soon